What's up everybody? It's your boy Saucy Shane. Welcome to day 12 of the 21090 Advent Calendar 2022. We're halfway through this Advent Calendar and halfway through this crazy month of December. We only got a couple more weeks till Christmas, so you better get your butt shopping if you're missing out on some gifts. What do we have in store for this sample this this day? It is a new riff bourbon single barrel distillery pick i'm assuming coming straight from the distillery yesterday we had an awesome sample from kathy graves a new riff balboa rye bottle and bond i ranked it really high at 9.7 this is the new riff bourbon it's a single barrel and it comes in it's got it on the label here 113 proof i haven't never tried a new riff bourbon we got some on the shelf right off the rip. Boy, look at that color on that. Beautiful, beautiful color. And that rock on glass. I can't wait to try this one. Just about every one of these samples so far is something that I've never tried before. And I say it every time. It's a beautiful thing with sharing with whiskey with friends. That's what it's all about. It's not about hoarding it all to yourself. And who are you going to tell about, you know? This advent calendar has been a, a magical journey, if you would. I'm going to give it a swirl. Man, I'm just saying that is a dark, I don't know the age on it. I think uh, I think this comes from Prescription Bourbon. Correct me if I'm wrong. If so, I'll put the link into his YouTube channel in the description box below. I don't really know the age of it. I, I'm assuming probably five, six years old. But a beautiful color on it. I'm going to give it a good little swirl job here. Like I said, it comes 113 proof. It's, on, it's a... It's a good proof point for me in a, in a barrel proof bourbon. Let's get a little bit on the nose here. Ooh. I know a lot of their, their stuff, they do their own, own distilling. It's not a lot of age on a lot of their stuff. They do have like a six year rye. So I think they do have, you know, some older stuff, if you would. This don't have a lot of young notes to it. Not a lot of ethanol nose to it. It's a, it's a really good nose on this one too. Give it a little bit more swirl job. Like always guys, check the links in the description box below. 21090's Patreon group and their YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a thing. They're going to be doing some awesome barrel picks. They go live every Tuesday night. Everything beer, bourbon, rock and roll related. They're fixing to drop an awesome video of their favorite whiskeys of the year. I'm trying to work on that as well. They just did a barrel aged beer review, French toast bastard from Founders. They do all kinds of stuff. Go live every Tuesday night, guys. Check them out. If you haven't already, I would highly suggest you do so. What are you waiting for? Let's give it a little bit more swirl job and we'll smell it one more time. I'm getting some, I'm getting some chocolate on this bad boy too. Almost like a chocolate candy. I can't quite pinpoint it. This is the season for all the all the candies. So this fits in well. I almost want to say like a like a whopper. So I'm almost kind of getting a maltiness to it. Chocolate malty. I don't know if there's any malted in this mash bill of any kind. Malted barley, maybe. Smells very good. Let's get it on the palate, y'all. Cheers. First sip of the day. It drinks right at its proof point, 113 proof. I, I like a, that's right in my wheelhouse. I like a good 115, 117 is about my sweet spot as far as a proof point. Mm, let's go for a second sip. If I had to guess, I would guess that's a high rye mash bill on that. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting some spearmint on it. I mean, it, the rye is shining on it. I think really New Riff does a very fantastic job with their rye. So I, this has got to have, I'd like to know the specifics 
on the mash bill on this single barrel distillery pick. But I'm kind of guessing it's got pretty high mash bill, rye mash bill. It's got that rye spice. It's got, like I said, I'm getting some spearmint. As it opens up, you're getting that sweet, characteristic sweet oak. So it's got a very good mouthfeel. You're kind of getting a little bit of the grainy aspects of it. But I think that's a, a beautiful part in a lot of these grain to glass distilleries that's coming out. New Rift is really killing it. I know we got a, a sample for Damar from another distillery that's doing a lot of good things. And I can't wait to try it. But this one. Some of the typical caramel vanilla notes are starting to come out a little bit of toffee notes you're getting that grainy note on the nose but like i said it's not off putting when i say that it's not not off putting another good one with a good thick mouthfeel 113 proof nice legs running down the, the glass there thick bands of legs running down the glass It hits you from the back of the palate all the way to the front. I'm going to rank this bad boy right here an 8.2. Another cherry popper for me. Like I said, I've never had any new Rift bourbon. I've always stuck with the rise. But man, it's going to make me want to go to work tomorrow and buy me a single barrel new Rift bourbon and give it a try. We've got a couple different ones on the shelf. Hmm. But guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all back tomorrow for day 13. We're officially halfway through this advent calendar and halfway through the month of December. It's been fun. What a delicious pour that's been. But guys, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check those links in the description box below. Like always, stay safe out there, and until next time, stay saucy, but don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly, share with friends. Love y'all.